I'm taking a look at the M9 bayonet from Ontario Knife Company. It's a pretty hefty bayonet. Uh, works on the uh, AR-15 rifles. Nice thick blade, polymer handle. Of course, it's a bayonet, so it's got the hilt that's designed to hold it onto the muzzle, and then the attachment point on the end. Real nice bayo. It's got uh, serrations going across the top, um, top, or excuse me, the, the edge and the top. Haven't actually taken this one out to see how that works on wood or something, but I suspect that in the bayonet mode, this would allow you to do some pretty uh, devastating upward strikes. Uh, comes in a polymer sheath, very substantial. There's no way that this blade is ever going to burst through this sheath. Um, it does use the um, bayon or the wire cutting uh, feature here, where you interlock the blade with this lug on the um, bottom of the sheath and that allows you to use it as a wire cutter. Uh, it's insulated, both the handle and the sheath are made out of polymer so it allows you to cut through electric barbed wire if you needed to. Pretty clever and they stole that from the Russians and it's got uh, sort of a frog riveted onto the uh, sheath, nylon, pretty well made. It's got a snap closure, once you insert that snap works well. It's got a fairly loose frog. An attachment is made by Bianchi. It's their universal military style uh, clip which works great on regular belts or the wide uh, military belts. And as you saw this is real easy to clip. Um, I'm a real fan of these. have been for years. It allows you to not have to remove your gear. Put this over your belt. Reach down. Clip it closed. It has no reason to open uh, but it is fairly easy to get open if necessary. Now you'd actually just leave that on your belt and it's got a two-sided snap release uh, clip here which is going to allow you to remove the sheath again for the bay bayonet or for the wire cutting feature. So getting back to it being a bayonet, it'll work on the AR-15. The uh, hilt has the hole which is going to go around the muzzle and then the bayonet lug is going to attach to the end of the handle. So it comes over around there locks into place. There's two spring clips at the bottom that release it from the bayonet lug for removal. Pretty devastating. Um, a lot of AR guys don't like bayonets anymore but it can be a pretty effective uh, fighting tool. Uh, of course there's the blade for downward strikes. As I mentioned you've got the uh, false edge and then the serrations there for any kind of upward strikes. Of course thrusts would be pretty devastating and uh, this one has a light here, but the uh, front sight post can also be a good combination with all the rest of that uh, for close quarters type of stuff. Pretty neat, but it's not uh, only for the AR-15, because actually this particular knife is packaged along with this Mossberg 590A1, which has a bayonet lug on the end, and uh, instead of going around the muzzle, it goes around the magazine tube cap and again it's going to go around that cap and then it's going to clip here to the uh, bayonet lug and again it offers a little extra for this shotgun although a shotgun by itself is a pretty uh, effective weapon now you've got the added advantage of having a bayonet if you ever run out of shells so pretty effective pretty neat bayonet lots of uses both as a knife wire cutter, and of course a bayonet.